Hey listen, today we're talking about three pro tips for your Baratza Encore Grinder here on Bean Basics. Oh hey there. Welcome to Bean Basics with Bob and Michelle. Welcome to Sunny Saga Tuck and welcome to our home and kitchen. Hey listen, Today we're talking about three pro tips to get the most out of your Baratza grinder, your single dose grinder. And frankly, it could be any grinder. The first pro tip is, hey, do you ever have any static electricity catch your coffee in this chamber or up on top? I do all the time. And the pro tip on that is when you're dosing out your coffee, and we'll just put a few beans right here. If you do this one thing, with a little spritz bottle, give it one little spray, boom. It'll reduce all the static out of this chamber area. And although I'm putting water on, it could be any kind of water, like distilled water, soft water, hard water, just not chlorinated water. It won't change the flavor. The amount of water is so insignificant. Our second pro tip is to get an even grind, you always want to start your grinder first, and then drop the beans in. And doing that will always produce an even grind. Okay, our third pro tip is, how do you keep the burrs inside clean? Sure, you can clean the hopper in this chamber right here in soap and water, but how do you get inside and get rid of the oils that build up in the burrs? Well, you use a product called Grinds. And Grinds is plant-based, it's organic, organic, it's gluten-free, and it's food safe. And the manufacturer recommendation is that you put a cap full in. And you do that about once a month to keep everything clean. I'm not going to do a full cap full at this moment in time. But you just dump it in, and we're not looking for an even grind here. So we can dump it in in advance and just turn it on. and we let these go right through. And that plant-based material will grab all the oils and remove them. Now I've heard of hacks like putting rice in or grape nuts or something like that, but the rice puts starch in there, the grape nuts leave a residue behind, and the manufacturer really doesn't recommend it, and it might actually void your warranty. You don't want that. Now the last thing here is, you gotta chase out this these grinds that you put in. So you need to put some more coffee in right behind it, a good dose, and run some coffee through to clean the chamber of that plant-based material. Well, that's three ways you can get the most out of your grinder. Listen, maybe you have a pro tip. If you do, Put it in the comments below. I'd really appreciate it. I know others would too. Maybe you disagree with one of my pro tips. Well, let me know that too. Hey, listen, I'd be happy to send you one Big Island Space Spritzer. I've got about 30 of these. If you go to our blog, onebigislandspace.com with two G's and hit us in the contact tab and say, I want a spritzer, we'll send you one for free. Okay, I need to leave you with this one note, and it's my favorite note. When you love the world, the world will love you right back. Hey, thanks for joining us. For future episodes, click the subscribe button. Bean Basics is brought to you by OneBigIslandInSpace.com with two G's.